Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia. This is the quiz for October 10th, episode number 284. Today's category is ballet. This will be a 20-question trivia quiz about the category of ballet. If you enjoy this quiz, subscribe to the channel. We post new 20-question quizzes every day around noon Central Standard Time. Thank you for watching today. See you tomorrow, and good luck. Question 1. In the most festive ballet of all, the leading fairy is named after a suite. What is the name of the ballet? The answer is the Nutcracker. Question 2. What is the name of the fairy in the ballet from question 1? The answer is the Sugar Plum Fairy. Question 3. How many basic feet and arm positions are there in ballet? The answer is 5. Question 4. In Swan Lake, the name of the black swan is Odile. What is the name of the white swan princess? The answer is Odette. Question 5. Though it became much more popular in France, which country did ballet originate from as an art form? The answer is Italy. Question 6. In which movement does the dancer bend their knees and straighten them again usually with the feet turned right out and heels firmly on the ground. The answer is a plie. Question 7. What are the stiff tulle costumes used in many classical ballets called? The answer is tutus. Question 8. What is the dance duet called in which two dancers, typically a male and a female, perform ballet steps together? The answer is the pas de deux. Question 9. The French ballet term devant means in front. What is the French ballet term for back or behind? The answer is derriere. Question 10. What is the jump called in which a dancer springs from one foot to land on the other with one leg extended outwards from the body while in the air? The answer is a jeté. Question 11. The basic step in which a leg is extended straight behind the body at a right angle is called what? The 
The answer is arabesque. Question 12. Which ballerina is most often credited with being the first to dance in point? The answer is Marie Taglioni. Question 13. What piece of equipment in a ballet studio is attached to many mirrors that you hold on to while doing exercises? The answer is a bar. Question 14. What is it called when a dancer rises up on the point or demi-point from flat feet often using a little spring from a demi-plie during which both feet are swiftly drawn up. The answer is a relevé. Question 15. Soviet composer Sergei Prokofiev famously composed which ballet based on the work by Shakespeare including The Dance of the Knights? The answer is Romeo and Juliet. Question 16. What Native American ballerina was considered America's first major prima ballerina and is said to have revolutionized ballet? The answer is Maria Tallchief. Question 17. Which Cervantes novel gave inspiration for a Minkus and Petipa ballet featuring one of the most popular pas de deux in dance history? The answer is Don Quixote. Question 18. What two ballet terms, often interchangeable, describe the same position where a dancer's leg is bent upwards with their toes typically connected to the other leg? The answer is the passe and rattere. Question 19. What is the name for an admirer of the ballet, a ballet connoisseur, or a ballet enthusiast? The answer is a balletomane. Question 20. What is the title of Tchaikovsky's ballet choreographed by Marius Petipa that features King Floristan and Princess Aurora. The answer is The Sleeping Beauty. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for bearing with me. I'm sure I mispronounced a lot of those words. Uh, they are hard to say. I tried to look them up, but no such luck. I mean, I, I did the best I could. Hopefully you knew what I was talking about. Hopefully if you can read it, that'll at least help you out, because I don't think listening to me say it did anybody any good. I hope you enjoyed that quiz. If not, just check back tomorrow, because we'll have a brand new one in a brand new category with no funny spelling on the words. Thanks for watching. See you then.